Tucson, Katie, you disagree. Go ahead, please. Oh, well, I just think that you call people illogical, but you have absolutely no logic in your own argument. All right, Katie, look, if you're going to insult me, I'm going to hang up on you because I don't know who you are. You're probably an uneducated pothead. Make your point, and then we'll have an argument. Well, basically, you're calling somebody, a, or you're saying that somebody is a socialist because they increase the executive power. But that's like saying, you know, all flamingos are pink, this object is pink, and therefore this object is a flamingo. <laughs> Katie, my darling. Did you hear me say that socialism is defined in a hundred different ways and that there are a hundred definitions of socialism? Did you not hear that? But when you tried to prove that... I, did you not hear that, yes or no? I said absolutely, but okay. you're trying to prove Do you that understand I... that there are a thousand varieties of socialists? Do you understand that you said FDR is a socialist because he increased the executive branch? I can't hear what you just said. You just, you just muttered something. What did you just say? You said that FDR is a socialist because he increased federal, the executive power. That's, that, that is correct. That's one of the symptoms of a socialist government, which is the collection of power into fewer and fewer hands. That is absolutely true. That is one of the definitions of socialism, Katie. It's, it's part of it, but there are many other things that involve increasing the, the executive power. George W. Bush increased the executive power more than any president in history. That's correct, and I criticized him for eight straight years, so now what? Is he a socialist? Yes, he was. In fact, I define him as such. About nine months ago, I said George Bush is a fiscal socialist. I don't think you're a, a new listener to the show, but I did say that nine months ago. George Bush is the man who brought us here. All right. Well, maybe that's possible that you said that, but I just find it incredibly insulting that you take the man who defeated Hitler and Mussolini and lump him in with socialism. But he was a socialist. But FDR, you... by any analysis, was a socialist. Do you see how offensive that would be to somebody who lived through World War II? Do you have any idea what you're saying? Absolutely. Are you telling me that you understand what you're talking about? Do you understand that Stalin was a socialist? Do we agree on that? Yes. Okay. Are, are we agreeing that Hitler was a socialist? Uh, he's more of a fascist, but sure. No, no. It just shows your ignorance. Again, you come on like you know what you're talking about. You're full of glib statements, and you don't know what you're saying. Do you understand what the Nazi party symbolized, N-A-Z-I, do you know what it stands for in German? National Socialist Party, that's what I'm saying. Oh, thank you, you just made my point. Both Hitler and Stalin were both socialists. So what does that have to do with me saying that FDR was also a socialist? Well, I don't agree with you that Hitler was a socialist. Larry King Stalin... Well, what do you mean? You mean his party was called socialist, but he wasn't? Sure, you can call yourself whatever you want. No, why was he not a socialist? I think he was a fascist. Fascism has more with control... That's because you learned that in your red diaper doper baby schooling. Hitler was a socialist. National Socialism was the name of the Nazi party, Katie. You can't even face the reality of what you're trying to, to say here. But Hitler was, an Hitler was a socialist of one variety. Stalin was a socialist of another variety. A less virulent form of socialist was the FDR brand of socialism. So do you really think it's fair to lump them into a party together? Do you understand why that's offensive to people? It's not offensive at all. Yeah, well, what would you call FDR? Well, maybe, maybe I'm not understanding you. What would you call Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who made the government gargantuan and also aggrandized all the power as much as he could anyway into the uh, halls of Congress, meaning, into, excuse me, into the executive branch? I, I would call him the best president in American history. Now, why are you so sold on FDR, Katie? What is it about FDR that you're so sold on? Because he got us out of the Depression. He led us through a world war. He got elected three times. He's the only president to do that. Katie, let me ask you something. I, and I'm not trying to be um, rude to you. Uh, are you in college or did you go to college? I have graduated. You did. In what field? <laughs> I'm not sure how it's relevant, but I have a Bachelor of Arts in English Literature. Okay, so you went through a total brainwashing course in your liberal arts program where you didn't even understand that the large and various school of collectivist thinkers that surrounded socialism. But you've just made that up. I actually only have a degree in English literature because that's what I decided to do when I was 18, but toward the end of it, I took all business classes. Well, what do you mean I just made that up? I'm just telling you that all of the thinkers around him were collectivist thinkers. All of the thinkers around FDR were collectivist thinkers. Don't you understand that? Don't you understand that you just called me brainwashed for going through a program that I only halfway went through? But you you're know? sounding as though you were brainwashed wherever you went. 
You see, I'm giving you facts and you're avoiding the facts. You are defending a man and you don't even understand his own policies. You don't even understand who his advisors are. Name the top five advisors to FDR during his administration. Can you do that, Katie, since you love the man so much? Why would trivia matter? You see, you're trying to be glib, but you're losing the argument. You don't even know what you're talking about. You're worshipping FDR. I'm asking you to define who his thinkers were, the main thinkers around him, meaning his guiding lights, and you don't know who they were. They were all collectivists in nature, Katie. I'm trying to educate you, but it's hopeless. You're a brainwashed child. You're a brainwashed child, which is why a man like Obama can get away with naked socialism, and you think he's going to save the middle class. This is a clear attack on the middle class, Katie. It's a straight-up attack on the middle class. But I haven't said anything about Obama, so how can you assume what I... All right, take a walk. Okay, I don't have patience for chick talk. It's like that whiny music in department stores. I'll be right back. Sassy. 